Hi guys, Chris here. Um, this is just another little tweak, help me, um, fix guide uh, that might help you. Um, the first thing I'd like to say though, just before we get started with it, is I think the primary thing um, when you come into tweaking and things like that and playing a new game, etc., is I think you've just got to be a little bit honest um, with yourselves um, and honest about the system that you've, you know, we've all got, or w as individuals that we've got. You know, I'd I'd love to be able to run this uh, this game or all games at full tilt, nine, you know, nineteen twenty by ten eighty, anti lacing times a, and a strap it filter in sixteen, and you know, all the bells and whistles. But realistically, that that's not going to happen. So I think if you just have a a little look um, at your system and then be honest with yourselves, I think that will help. Um, you know. Anyway, that little bit out of the way, we'll just uh, we'll go through some settings and things that might help you. A lot of the uh, the the config um, tweaks that I used to use uh, back in the day with uh, COD War, um, etc. They've actually been removed from the the, the config I and I, um, so they can't be inputted. You, you're welcome to try um, inputting them, um, but I don't see them being any effect if they're actually not in the I and I already. So these are basic settings that you can you can do within the game itself and then I'll probably show you a couple of others that may aid you as well um, just in your I and I. So first off you just boot up your Modern Warfare 3 um, and go into your options list and you know set your resolution and everything there. And uh, then basically uh, go into advanced video and the first one is anti-lacing. Um, it, this is a fast paced shooter, um, so your anti lacing it, it doesn't have to be like in single player, so I mean set this as low as possible, so you know, you want a little bit, so get it set at, at two. Um, anything else is just overkill to be honest, you're moving that quickly for objectives or playing team deathmatch or whatever, you, you don't need it, um, so get it switched off, that'll help you a little bit as well. Um, I've never had sync every frame, um, that's just a no-no, just set it to no, I mean it's not as default anyway. The other main one is shadows. Um, I've been playing a long time, you know, um, since 1996 I've been playing video games and I've never found Shadows to be any benefit really to me in multiplayer. And I've played a lot of uh, multiplayer games in my time. Um, you're not going to play any worse, I don't feel, if you, you switch this off. And basically the rule is, is you know, if, if anything that has to be transferred from your computer to a server and back again is, is adding to your connection and adding to possibilities of problems. So if it's, I don't feel it's any real benefit to you. And yeah, granted it looks great in single player, so add it to your single player, enjoy the single player and have all the bells and whistles on, but in multiplayer you want it as smooth as possible. So switch off your uh, your shadows. That's a depth of field. Uh, personal preference, but again this is just something else that your graphics card and your CPU have to deal with. And basically all that is is when you go into your iron sights, so aim down the sights, you get a blurring effect. It actually um, detracts from your vision as well, so I'll switch it off. Um, for me, it's a benefit. You know, you can pull up your iron sights and you can see clearly either sides, top and bottom. So I'll switch it off. It's something else that your graphics card, as I say, doesn't have to do. Uh, soften smoke and edge, uh, smoke edges. Uh, this used to be called Z feather. Well, it's still called Z feather if you look at it in your config. And basically, all this does is anti aliases any smoke. Again, it's something else that has to be transferred to you, th from you to the server and back again. So it's something else that's going to add to problems. So switch it off. You're not going to see any deterioration in your gameplay because of it. So switch it off. You know, just switch it off. Um, the other thing, um, which is may be a benefit to you, I haven't really fully tested it yet, but basically um, the developers have listened to the PC community and they've given us a, what they call a native resolution. Um, and this is basically the best quality visuals that you can get on your PC. If you, what it used to be is you used to be able to pick low, normal, high and extra. They used to be the standard settings if you played COD before. Basically all these are doing now is taking the natural resolution of the Xbox or the PS3 and they're expanding it. So you actually end up with a blurry, villi uh, a blurry image. Um, so it's not truly pure like in native. So if you want the best and it looking the best, pick native. Um, it may be of some benefit, I don't know, as I say, I've not tested it with your connections and things, and uh, CPU load and GPU load, depending on your individual systems, it might be as well that you did pick, say, normal, and, and just basically up um the standard Xbox resolution, it might aid you. The other thing, um, though I've got mine set at extra, I'm just running some tests at the moment to see what the benefits are. But uh, rules of thumb from uh, playing COD War, uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Blo um, Blops, 
uh, basically you want to set this down as low as possible to what you're comfortable with to get um, a, you know because at the end of the day you have page of money so you do want some vis you know, visual wow some eye candy but set it as low as possible really I'll be honest with you when I was playing black ops um, normal I, d I didn't see any real big difference um, it didn't detect you know deteriorate the the image quality that much that I noticed until oh god why am I playing this so have a mess around with that as well and your text resolution um, you know that's all dependent on your GPU and things but I think if taking those into account and being honest with yourselves regarding the systems that you all individually own I think that will help so the lower the better is going to get you a better connection and anything that you don't have to be sent from your computer to their computer and back again etc and you don't need it get them switched off uh, one other thing I want to touch on as well, uh, theatre recording. If you're not planning on posting YouTubes or you're not planning on recording videos or reviewing your own gameplays and things like that, theatre mode um, apparently it's a big hit. It's a big hit in Black Ops as well. So switch it off. If you're not going to use it, switch it off. There's, there's no point it being there. It's just something else that the computer's having to do. You know, it's having to monitor everybody and send that information to your computer. So if you're not going to use it, switch it off. I actually use it because uh, I've got limited hard drive space, so I'm running on the the fact that I have a theatre mode rather than be able to record all my games live. You know, I do record some games fully live um, and using fraps, but you know, the, the, a 12 minute video takes up about 25 gig and then I have to re-render it and all the rest of it. So if you don't need it, uh, switch it off. Um, the other little thing, I, it's a little benefit, I, uh, somebody posted, I forget the gentleman's name, he posted on one of my videos. Um, Modern Warfare 3, there are actually dedicated servers. I thought it was just peer to peer, but there actually is a dedicated server browser, so enable it and see. There are some servers out there. I don't know if it's running on individuals' computers or what, but give it a try. It might give you a better connection, therefore, giving you a better game and giving you an overall better experience. So, I'm just going to uh, pause this one just here because I'm going to go and show you some config um, settings that may help you as well. But other than that, they're about as uh, the best little tweaks I can uh, give you within the game um, due to the limited config um, I and I now. Anyway, um, I hope that's helped and I hope it improves your gaming and gives you a better experience. And I'll catch you in a second when I've redone this next video. Catch you soon. Hi guys, Chris back again. Uh, just the second part of this little tweak guide that might help you a little bit. Uh, basically this one you do need to find your uh, config uh, underscore mp um, folder uh, file which is in your Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 folder so you want to go to where you've installed your Steam um, mine's actually in C, Games, Steam, Steam Apps, Common um, anyway you want to, to find that, you can see it there, it's, uh, find out where yours is and then you want to click on your uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and again you want to go to your Players 2 file if you've watched my uh, lag fix and then you want to go to your uh, config uh, underscore mp folder uh, file and you want to open that up and basically there's a couple of lines in here um, that you want to find so you scroll all the way down he's doing it as quick as he can and you want to find um, vsync and basically switch that off um, I've never found any benefit of it at all and basically that's just going to limit me to 60 frames um, and you want it to be uh, you know as fast as possible basically so I just let that free run um, if it's following the other COD games and I think there's a frame rate lock up of about 85 frames I can live with a little bit of tearing on the screen just to give me a fast frame rate the other thing as I've mentioned it was that smoke um, smooshing or whatever it was called and um, that's called that's your, your Z feather as I mentioned you want to set that to zero now the other one that you can change again it's just um, fancy bits is that you can uh, switch your setter ragdoll underscore enable to zero um, and that uh, just removes some of the um, the ragdoll effects on the characters it, it, I don't think you'll notice to be honest um, I've changed that in uh, all of my um, COD games and I've n it's never you know, spoiled my game um, and I felt like I've lost something so anyway, um, they may just help you, and that's basically the conclusion of uh, all the tips that I know and that I can get at, um, due to the fact that the uh, config INI has been changed. Anyway, I hope that helps. So you just uh, close out of that, and it will ask you to save, and you say yes, and you've still got your original copy if you followed my uh, other tutorial, um, so you're safe if something goes wrong, or it's counted as a, a cheat within VAC you can always put your config back knowing safely that you've uh, got your original vanilla copy. 
Anyway, I hope that helps. I'll catch you soon. Wishing you happy caping. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.